This is New River in New River Gorge in West Virginia. In this video, you'll enjoy a couple of minutes of a few different scenic locations around New River Gorge National River. I'll come back periodically for some conversation. I'm posting a video about this location on my primary channel, but this video is being posted first. If you're watching this video after the middle of October of 2020, then there will be a tab probably in the middle of this video and in the description that will take you to the video on that channel for detailed information related to this amazing location. I'll be back in a couple of minutes, but in the meantime, enjoy a couple of minutes of New River. When I make videos, I try to mute movement or strange voices in the background. I used to find it distracting. While developing this channel, I had an epiphany. If you're visiting these locations, background noises and background voices are a part of the experience. The conversations you hear from the people behind you or beside you, well, they add something. The view you're seeing now is from Grandview National Park. It's in West Virginia as well. Actually, it's just a few miles from the last scene. For the duration of this video, we'll be showing different perspectives of New River as well as Grandview National Park. In case you haven't put it together yet, River Down Below is also New River. New River isn't new. In fact, it might be the oldest or second oldest river in the Americas, and many believe it's the oldest river in the United States, and it's one of the few rivers that flow north. Naming this river New River is a great example of irony, a state of affairs or an event that seems deliberately contrary to what one expects, and it's often amusing as a result. While it's obvious the explorers of the 17th century didn't consider the river's age when naming the river, there's nothing historically satisfying as to why it's called New River. We only have a few guesses as to how the river was named. One of the earliest explorers to the region originally named the river after himself, but that didn't last.
The river doesn't care about a label to determine its destiny. It fulfills its God-given purpose even if its purpose is altered by time, in which case it hasn't been altered much. Looking back at the rapids, I wonder if at one point the river was feeling its age, that maybe for a few thousand years it felt useless and worn out, when suddenly it was renamed New, and this changed its identity and gave it a fresh outlook on life. Suddenly, being the oldest and wisest, it was also New. But even if I personify New River, I'm not sure this river cares one way or the other about its name. I've always seen rivers as conversationalists, maybe it's just me. About its name, the river may say, I've had many names, but new suits me just fine until the next one. This video, as well as this channel, doesn't consider short attention spans or algorithm-pleasing content. On my other channel, I often say, we make videos just for you. And it's true, and I enjoy making videos for that channel. But this channel, the channel you're watching now, Breathe, isn't for everyone. Watching this much of the video suggests that you might be enjoying this video and that this channel is for you. And if so, subscribing and clicking the bell for notifications is crucial. Commenting and sharing this video is equally important. I realize this channel isn't for everyone, but I'd like for people that might be interested in having the opportunity to give it a chance. I'm grateful you took the time to have a conversation with a real old New River.